Hi, my name is Rob Gandrick. I'm the product manager of vibratory and screening here at Erie's Magnetics. I'm going to demonstrate the basic concepts for tuning Erie's small vibratory feeders. This instructional video is to be used in conjunction with the installation, operation, and maintenance manual for your specific vibratory feeder. Tuning a vibratory feeder is the means of mechanically adjusting the unit with its tray to the desired displacement at full voltage. When a unit is furnished complete with a tray, it's properly tuned to that tray at the factory. Such tuning is naturally somewhat different for trays of different sizes or weights. Today, we're going to work with Erie's 46C and HS46 vibratory feeders. However, these same guidelines apply to all Erie's compact vibratory feeders. Tuning is accomplished by changing the stiffness of the tuning springs in the stacks and or changing the thickness of the springs. Typical changes to the leaf springs are made at the rear of the unit. It's critical to torque the spring clamping bolts to the value specified in the instruction manual. In normal operation at full voltage, the tray displacement is measured at the back of the tray with the displacement sticker. Consult your installation, operation, and maintenance manual and the nameplate on the side of your feeder to determine the unit's maximum displacement. When tuning a feeder, a small amount of striking, which is the impacting of the electrical assembly and the armature inside the drive, is permissible. However, it must not be allowed during regular operation since damage to the feeder can result. A misaligned air gap may be the cause of the striking. The air gap of the feeder should be checked as instructed in the equipment's installation, operation, and maintenance manual. For instruction on reading Erie's displacement stickers, Consult your installation, operation, and maintenance manual and the Erie's Reading Vibratory Displacement Sticker video available on YouTube and Erie's.com. Depending upon which Erie's feeder you're tuning, the effect of increasing and decreasing the spring stiffness will have differing results. For C and HDC model feeders, increasing spring stiffness should decrease tray displacement. To increase tray displacement, reduce spring stiffness. If the opposite effect is occurring, the feeder is on the wrong side of the tuning curve. In this case, increase spring stiffness until the feeder reacts properly and refer to the installation, operation, and maintenance manual. For Erie's HS and HD model feeders, to decrease tray displacement, decrease stiffness of the tuning springs. To increase tray displacement, increase stiffness of the tuning springs. If the opposite effect is occurring, the feeder is on the wrong side of the tuning curve. In this case, decrease spring stiffness until the feeder reacts properly and again, refer to the installation, operation, and maintenance manual. Each spring is marked with the number of plies and relative stiffness. The total stiffness of the tuning stack is the sum of the relative stiffness numbers. With various combinations of different ply springs having different relative stiffness numbers, practically any desired total stiffness can be obtained. To learn more about Erie's vibratory equipment and maintenance, visit our website at www.eries.com or give us a call at 800-345-4946.